This problem, we're going to solve it by factoring. So um, in order to solve a quadratic equation, and I know it's quadratic because it has an x squared in it um, and no other higher powers, uh, we need to get one side equal to zero. So I'm going to subtract the 9x and the 4 from both sides. Okay, so you can see that I've taken it away on both sides. And on the right side now, I just have 0, which is what I wanted. And I can combine like terms on the left side and get 3x squared minus 11x minus 4. So it says solve by factoring, so I know that this is going to factor. And there are various ways to factor. Um, but guess and check is probably the most efficient one once you've practiced factoring for a while. When you first start factoring, it's good to use other methods. So to get 3x squared, I know I'm going to need a 3x and an x. And to get 4, um, I could use 2 and 2 or 4 and 1. But I'm looking at this middle number, which is an 11. And I know that 4 times 3 is 12, so if I subtracted... 1 from that I would get 11. So my belief is that I'm going to need a plus 4 maybe and a minus 1. And I don't know if that's going to work or not, but that's why it's called guess and check. So um, the, the one we need to check for, I already know that my 3x times x is 3x squared and negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. What I need to make sure is when I multiply the inside terms and the outside terms, that it adds up to negative 11x. So I get 12x with the outside terms and minus 1x with the inside. That's a positive 11x. That's almost what we want. So all I need to do is change these signs to plus here and negative here, and then I'll get the minus 12 and the plus 1, which will give me the negative 11x. All right, from here, we um, use the zero factor property that says if two things multiply to be zero, then one or both of them must be zero. So 3x plus 1 equals zero, or x minus 4 equals zero, or both. So I solve each one of these individually, subtract 1. We get 3x equals negative 1. And... I need to scoot this up here. That means that x is equal to negative one-third. And here I just add the 4 over, so x equals 4. So we get two answers. x could be 4 or x could be negative 3. Either one or both will work.